My name is Alexandra Aguilar, and my research topic is open works. I'll start off with a few examples of various composers' visual works for the intro. I decided on this topic because visual music imagery can create amazing and new music or sound based off of colors, shapes to depict the notes and textures of the music created by the composers. I also find it interesting and believe that the world is not made up of fixed truths but diverse perspectives. Musical scores that treat the performer as machines to execute the singular will of the composer are arguably not as attractive as scores that invite imaginative evolution and a sense of collaborative ownership on the part of the musicians. Open scored works can also be very programmatic for programming with the historical challenge of getting players with diverse individual careers in one place at one time works with flexible instrumentation that have saved many performers from failing through live performances. I explored the open work by Umberto Eco and his suggestion on open art forms expressing characteristics of contemporary culture in general. In open work by Umberto Eco, he uses Stockhausen as an example of a modern musical piece rendered open by its own author. The work created rejects the definitive concluded message and rather multiplies the formal possibilities of distribution and performances. I will now play a five minute recording of Stockhausen's Telemask from 1966.
Umberto Eco notices about the openness in Stockhausen's pieces is that it invites us to identify inside the old category of open works, a more restricted group. He calls this new category of contemporary works, works in movement, because they consist of unplanned or physically incomplete structural units that need to be completed with an ongoing dialect between the author's intentions and the performer's choices among other options he has given. This next piece by Stockhausen was composed in 1961 called Contiquette.
Lastly, because of the flexible nature of graphic scores, Christopher Cox and his take on visual graphic scores with its shift into multimedia aesthetic practices can provide instructions for a live performance or just give a graphical interpretation of an electrical piece of music. Deeper philosophical and political concerns also contributed to the move away from conventional staff notion. Composers such as Cardo dismiss the traditional way of music being performed by the performers following the composer. This last piece is by Cornelius Cardo, composed in 1961, called Octet.